You hit a great feeling shot into the green. Best feeling shot all day. You have a great chance for birdie or for par. All it takes is one little chip. You shoot the round of your life. And all of a sudden, you skull it and it goes off the green. And probably the club's going into the lake. In today's video, we're going to eliminate the problem of you throwing away shots around the green and instead learn how to hit the crispiest chips and pitches of your life. This technique changed my life. When you get this easy visual in your head, you'll never miss a chip again. And that's because it's proven to work. It starts with knowing how the club should move into the golf ball. And this goes for anything from chipping, pitching up to full swing. We want to take a nice little divot in front of the ball. Chip's just a smaller version of the full swing. So when I get set, I need two things to happen. I need my lead arm to stay straight, I need the weight to stay forward. And when I swing my lead arm, I'll see my wedge going into the ground in front of the ball every single time. Now a lot of you are going to struggle with chipping because you'll have this arm break down or scoop or flip. So you're introducing variables into your swing. Meaning that here's a variable, the wrists maybe even turning the hands. Also the shortening of the arm. A few different variables for you that can contribute to you sculling the ball over the green or flubbing and duffing your chips. So we eliminate variables first, just by setting the weight forward and keeping this arm the same length throughout the swing. Now here is where the big piece comes in. You know you need the lead arm to stay straight. But I see a lot of golfers will set up to the ball and they try and keep both arms straight. Now this is a big problem because now your arms are fighting each other especially when it's your trail arm. If the trail arm becomes the straighter arm, the lead arm can't be the straight arm. It's taking over. You see how the, the trail arm is longer, it's lower on the club. So it doesn't support the lead arm when it gets too straight. And that is what causes flipping and scooping. This arm takes over. And I can feel it just by swinging with both arms staying straight. The right arm for me wants to take over and it wants to flip, it wants to scoop, and I don't know where my contact point's going to be. Most of the time I'll be sculling that shot. I don't have a good chance of striking well. Ooh, I got lucky. But I feel a flip happening whenever that arm takes over. Keeping the right arm straight, the left arm has to submit to it, and there's a skull. So the trick to great chipping is to do this. Take the right arm out take it out of play by tucking it in. So I'm bending it. I've got it tucked in nice and bent, the lead arm staying straight, almost where I've got it glued against my rib cage so that I can feel what I was doing right here with that one arm earlier. Consistent contact every time. I want that, but I need a guide arm. So my trail arm, I'm just gonna glue it into my rib cage and my lead arm's the only thing controlling the stroke with the shoulders. At no point does the trail arm lengthen. So by keeping it glued in, and the lead arm straight, ooh, that was really crispy. That was so nice. I'm feeling that lead arm staying straight throughout the entire stroke. That's a crispy contact point. Nice divot right there. Doesn't get better. Doesn't get better than that. And when I first started doing this, the reason I did this, my chipping was just getting ugly. My pitches sometimes would get sculled across the green. So I was like, well, to hit the ball solid with my full swing, I need my lead arm to stay straight and I always have my trail arm supporting. Well, let's really over exaggerate it. So I get in there and I stuff this thing into my rib cage and I keep the lead arm straight. Maybe some people thought I was a freak at first because I was doing everything I could to make sure this arm would never get straight at any point. I just kept it bent and then I'd swing without thinking and there's another crispy chip. Instead of shaking in your knees, you say, oh, I got a chip shot, I don't want it. I don't want a chip shot, get away from me. I was that guy like Tiger Woods when he had the yips. Don't give me a chip shot. Until I glued this in there and I got my lead arm staying straight. I feel the lead arm only. And it has to work because you're eliminating all the variables. There's no way this right arm's gonna take over. Beautiful. So a lot of your problems will come from this arm extending early. It's called early extension in the full swing. In chips and pitches, it's a smaller swing, so you don't think too much about the full swing stuff, but you need to know that your problems come from this arm straightening. Now, if I want to go up to a pitch shot, like a three-quarter or half type swing going 60 to 80 yards, 
I do the same thing, just stuff that arm in there. My lead arm is the straight arm. Beautiful. I don't care if I look a little weird or a little different by doing this. I'm isolating the lead arm to be the straightest arm. And that's why it's gold. I love the part about it where I'm not yipping in my head, flipping out about a chip shot. Instead, I'm saying, okay, I got a chip shot. I'm excited to hit it. Or a pitch shot. I'm not freaking out when I have these shots anymore. And you won't either, because this it has to work. Lead arm straight, there it is. You won't be nervous over those shots. And it tells you, you know, it even works wonders in the full swing, but we're here for chipping today. Really gluing that thing in. And I can't miss. I tried to miss there. Like, I, I can't because it won't let me. If you set the machine, the machine will do the work for you. Set the machine, swing the machine. There it is. You think you're cheating. You, you think it's cheating. Because it just happens and you're not thinking. But you're just using geometry and physics here. I have a circle. Golf swings a circle. The radius of the circle. There it is, there's my radius. The club always bottoms out the bottom of the circle with this radius. Well, if I have two radii, meaning they're competing, well then you have to pick one or the other. Okay, well if the right arm's straight, then it's gonna fight the left arm one. So here's a radius too, the right arm. But that one's behind the ball. The left arm one's in front of the ball. I want the left arm one to be in charge. I don't want competition. I like my right arm a lot, but I don't like it that much in the golf swing. I like it to be the supporting arm so that I can chip and pitch happily the rest of my life. Let's go up a little bit more. Gluing you in there. Freakishly glued in. Don't change it, Tom. Beautiful. I'm exaggerating so you can see the power of this. With great power comes great responsibility. You will never get nervous over chips again. And in my Segudo.golf online golf school, you learn how to create a consistent contact point. There's more to it, of course. This is a great starting point for you. But building a consistent contact point takes some training, takes some skill. Just like anything in life, you don't start out your life cooking five-star restaurant meals. You start off with the top Raymond and you move up to cooking grandma's beautiful Italian lasagna. It's to die for. Just keep it in. Mm. You will be taking this with you the next round. You, you won't believe it. It's amazing. So, you know what to do. Tuck in the trail arm. Don't ever allow it to be straight, ever. You'll see it improve chipping, pitching, full swing, everything. But most importantly, around the green, you'll never be throwing away shots again. Thanks for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you in a future episode.